Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a variety of sweet treats from the UK. We have the Chalky Dodgers. We also have the Ultimate English Confectioners of Yorkshire Salted Caramel Fudge. And this is the Crawford's Golden Crispy Biscuits filled with currants. So the, uh, the fudge was $7.99 and the other two were $3.99 each at uh, World Market. So if you've never been in World Market, that's where you, you want to go there to, if you want to find uh, snacks from places around the, around yep. the globe. We've got some decent selections. They have everything. Yep. Uh, so this says there are eight biscuits in here. Chalky Dodgers. Uh, chalk, chalk, who's there? No nasty stuff or cheeky enough. Uh, they are, it looks like 90 calories each. Uh, store in a cool, dry place. No artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, GM ingredients. They do not have those. No hydro hydrogenated fats, and they are vegan friendly. Uh, and these are made, it looks like in Dublin, Ireland. Martin's Biscuit Company. Okay. Here we go. We have tried a lot of uh, like Jamie Dodgers and different flavors that they've come out with. So if you're interested, you can check the channel for that. That's okay. what I ended up doing, just tearing it. I love the yeah, look like of these. Little, it's a, like a little heart. Punch out cookie. Yeah, and- uh, This one's broken, do you want to eat Yeah, that? let's just eat that one. The biscuit part, the cookie, is definitely a stronger flavor than the chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate for me didn't need to be there. No, you can barely taste it. Mm -mm. If, I mean, if at all, I don't even know that I even pick yeah. up any chocolate. That, um, the biscuit's good though. The biscuit's good. It reminds me of something I would have had as a kid. Um, like an animal cracker kind of thing? Yes. It, it's not quite as plain as an animal cracker, but it's there. Yes, that, that, yeah. So if you're wondering as an American, what does that taste like? I really, really do think that compares to an animal it's cracker. Very, it's very similar. Not an iced animal cracker. No. Just, just a regular. A plain animal cracker. Animal cracker. Something you give to your two-year-old. Um, and you know, uh, yeah, I guess that's why I'm thinking of childhood because you had those little circus boxes. Yeah, the little boxes. And that's what it tasted yeah, like. circus animals. And especially since there's nothing there, there's no other flavor there to no, get surprised. in the way. You don't taste the chocolate at all. Mm -hmm. At all. No, because the jammy ones are really nice. They, you really taste the jam and mm -hmm. stuff. These, that chocolate is just not flavorful at all. So if you're in the UK and you're like, I've always wanted them to make those same cookies, but with no other flavors in the middle, <laughs> just buy these. Yeah. Because, I mean. Or if you bought them in the UK and you and you think there is a chocolate flavor. Yeah, because uh, maybe you thought they had a really good, maybe they're like your favorite. I don't mind them at all. I no, mean, they're I good for eat a them. nice biscuit. I could eat them, absolutely. But you could eat, this is the kind of thing you could eat alongside coffee, tea, oh, drink yeah. with milk, because it's not going to interfere with anything. You can it, even dip them in your tea. You you could, absolutely. Because they're a crunchy cookie. They, I, do, they do remind you of animal curry, even the texture. See the, oh, how, no, the size big. of these. They're very, very small little squares. I'm very excited to try these though. It says, handcrafted, the ultimate English confectioners of Yorkshire, salted caramel fudge, bloody gorgeous. Hmm. Small batch, big flavor. They smell good. My goodness. That's one of those things where you say, have mercy. Yes. Um, made with butter from EU and non-EU countries. Um, this is welcome from the heart of Yorkshire. We take pride in creating perfect flavors in small batches, the traditional handcrafted way. Close your eyes and enjoy love at first bite as you journey through amazing aromas, terrific textures, and get lost in the tantalizing taste of each recipe. A treat for all of your senses. Um, this says five servings are in the container. I don't think so. There are one, two, that three, four, five, That is one tangy serving. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Three, 13 pieces. Three pieces are 140 calories. 
And these are made by the Serious Sweet Company in Hornbeam Park, Harrogate. Or Harrogate. Harrogate. Is it Harrogate? Harrogate? I don't know. You okay. Know, they say things weird, different. I won't say weird. They say things different. Just there. different. Different than we would say. They're very, very sweet. Super, super sweet. And it's supposed to be salted caramel because I mean I get the salted. Yeah. Love the texture. Kind of get the sugary texture. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with those. <laughs> wow. And they sell these right at World Market. Yeah. The the what's funny is you, you think about this flavor. This is fudge though, not caramels. I was thinking if you compare it to like a Brox, but a Brox is a caramel. Yeah, you can. No, it's a this there's there's a, a little bit of a grittiness there. Mm -hmm. Which is wonderful. A good gritty, not bad. Good gritty. Uh, gives your teeth something to cling to. Yeah, and, that and little texture on your tongue. It is so sweet though. Some people, this would just be way too much for you. That's probably little. Um, this it truly is just over the top indulgent. Mm -hmm. It The butter, the richness. Mm -hmm. uh, you if, get the salt. If you have a world market in your area, and you like fudge. And you like fudge. But even if you don't, if you know somebody who loves sweets, for $4, this is a 5 out of 5. Mm -hmm. You have to get this for them. Get it for their stocking stuffer. Get it for just just because you want to be nice. Um, this is this is worth it. This, it's very good. Absolutely. I, yeah. I could eat like tons of that and make yeah, myself probably, sick. You'll probably see these later. Yeah, you'll see that container at the end of the month because that those <laughs> are very, very absolutely good. terrific. Yeah, I, I love like those. I like the caramel flavor. I like the amount of salt they have in them, mm -hmm. uh, and they're not too salty either. Just just enough no. salt to say salted caramel no. without being like like burn your tongue or too too salty, like you're you're eating the sea or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but those are rich, nice. rich, 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 yeah. very over the top sweet. Yeah. Now this is going to be a different experience, actually. which surprises me because so many people say that. Um, Especially in the UK, a lot of people aren't used to that level of sweetness. But clearly, a lot of people are too. Cause, yeah. Cause well, think about this tablet. Tablet's almost pure sugar. I mean, it's it's. This is a. There are products sweet. over there that are very very sweet. Very very sweet. But then yes. a lot of them are aren't as sweet right. as what we have over here. So tablet, the difference between this and tablet, I think tablet's a little crispier. It's, it's a, a little, little grittier and. Crisper. Yeah, and sugarier. Yeah. It's but, more sugar, I think. But I'll take both any day. Yeah, I think this one actually has some cream to it to kind of make it a little bit more uh, light mm -hmm. texture-wise mm -hmm. and add some depth to it, whereas tablet's almost all just sugar. Right. These are Crawford's Golden Crispy Biscuits filled with currants. They were established in 1813, Crawford's was. Uh, these are made in the UK by... McVitie's. McVitie's, oh, no. um, I love my top two favorites of just regular snacks that you can get at the store are uh, McVitie's and Mr. Kipling. Um, it says three cookies are 120 calories. So, so people have asked me before that they're going on a trip to the UK. Mm -hmm. They're like, what do you uh, try? What do you? What are some good brands to try? And I always tell them that Vitties or Mr. Kipling's because that's something that's easy for them to find. Yeah, it's pretty so, much everywhere. So yeah, you could always give them specialty specialty items, but those are hard to find. Mr. Kipling, you know, is in every store. It's going to be any, you know, it seems like Mr. Kipling's anywhere from M and S to Tesco. You know, um, there's just different varieties. Those almost look like uh, pretzels, don't they? It does. Like they, they look like It's very crispy like a pretzel. It says um, the currants is the main ingredient. Not up there. I do taste the current, but it's yeah. very, very light, and it took a long time for me to get mm -hmm. to it. It almost tastes like Fig Newton kind of. I'm flavor. ending on that current flavor. Mm -hmm. Now that I've, because um, you get it in your teeth just a little bit. It's not like it's sticky or anything like that, but. It's like a little thin layer of jam. But that's what sticks. Uh, if anything stays, it's the current, and you've already swallowed the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, because you taste the flour and. Oh, yeah. Um, that, the biscuit part, the whatever, the, the cracker part, whatever it is, uh, it's very, very dry. 
super dry. But now I'm. It's all current. Or yeah. Do you not get that? It is, and it kind of reminds me, like I said, of a fig Newton a little bit. It does. It's a little sharper than that. Mm -hmm. But it, those, I would never buy those again. I these. They're not bad. They're not horrible, but they're just not the kind of little treat I want to eat. Exactly. That's the thing. Is texture. Mc, McBitties makes so many other things that I would rather have. Uh, something else mm -hmm. than these. So yes, I do like them. I like I like the shape. I like the, I like the look of them. I think they look really nice. But it, yeah, it's not something I would just go to all the time. Yeah, currants is a it's a kind of like a raisin. So I'm kind of got a raisiny kind of flavor left over. It's not figs. It's more raisin. Now that I'm thinking. About and it. I always find it interesting that in the UK you get packages of, of cookies that are this size. Whereas if you come over here and you look at a package of Oreo, I mean, <laughs> I mean, our families are just buying, you know, you're getting all those 20 cookies in a package. That's a regular like, size Oreo. I we know. got the family and party size Oreos. I know. More. We've seen huge things more. But these are only eight. You're only getting eight in mm -hmm. there. And so I wonder if like, are you eating them like in all in one go? Are you eating them in two servings? Or does that make you only eat one at a time because there are only eight. Yeah. Whereas we have a whole package of Oreos so we don't care to eat more. I don't know. It's it's just uh, interesting. Um, I do think they go to the store more than we do though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because they, they uh, yeah, they just go to the store more. So I think that's probably why they sell in smaller containers too. So I think we're both agreeing. Oh, this is the only thing here I would actually buy. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want a really plain animal cracker type cookie, uh, then you would want to get those. But all three of these can be found at World Market. As of right now, at least. As of right now, yes. Um, but this, you have to the get The fudge those. is good. It's wonderful. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.